In the last two years, almost 40% of American honeybees have either died or disappeared. Now, these are the bees that pollinate the plants that produce the food that you eat. Well, now, WSU scientists say they may know why it's happening and how to fix it. KXLY 4's McKay Allen has the story from the WSU beehives near Albion, Washington. Pull that out. Mm -hmm. And then I take a nice chunk of honey. That's good stuff. Bees are important. About one third of our diet is dependent on insect pollination. Bees busily pollinate the plants that grow the food that we eat. Some of our major agricultural crops are completely dependent on honeybee pollination. But in the last couple of years, something began happening. Something was wrong with the bees. A normal, strong, healthy colony within several weeks would decline. Without warning, beekeepers across America began reporting up to 40 percent of their bees were dying or disappearing. They didn't know where the bees went. And no one knew why. Given the importance of insect pollination for food production, it is uh, uh, of great concern, really. Fewer honeybees means growing food gets more difficult and more expensive, costing you and I more money. So WSU researcher Dr. Steve Shepard got busy and began to study the problem. It could seriously impact uh, some food production. WSU analyzed the combs from collapsed dying colonies and found some fairly striking um, levels of pesticides in some of these combs. They were reducing the lifespan of the bee and affecting their development uh, in some ways. Turns out the combs in the hive basically soak up pesticides. Thus, the solution to the problem might be fairly simple. Replace the combs often. Don't leave them in the hives year after year. Dr. Shepard says this might not be the silver bee saving bullet, but it might help. I, mean, I think this is uh, you know, a small part of a, of a large effort. Kay Allen, KXY4 HD News. WSU scientists are also studying a new microscopic pathogen that could be another culprit causing the collapse of the bee colonies, but they still have more research to do and more information to pass along to beekeepers.